Welcome back, everybody. Now, today I'm taking a look at four surge protecting power strips, all of them kind of on the interesting side. To see how they really work, that's today's video. This collection of four power strips is kind of a mixed bag. I've got one that was advertised heavily on social media. I got an As Seen on TV version, a couple of Amazon's choice. The four contenders are the As Seen on TV Bell & Howell Swivel Power, Quirky Power 2.0, the Mount It, and the Echo Gear. First up, let's take a look at the four contenders. This is the Bell & Howell Swivel Power. This one actually can rotate 180 degrees. This is the Swivel Power Bell & Howell as seen on TV. I paid 20 bucks for this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's also on Amazon as an Amazon's choice with a 4.7 star rating among about 250 reviews as of this date. The claim that it charges nine devices at once, six AC outlets, two, 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 and three USB offer surge protection and indicator lights to show that it's grounded and protected from surges. Reset switch in case of circuit overload. The box says quick charging. The instructions don't. Its unique feature is that it can swivel 180 degrees. People on Amazon who liked it said they liked the versatility, the extra outlets, and the swivel feature. Those who did not like it, some said it was flimsy, some said it was too big, while others said it could not handle that many devices. Next up is the Quirky 2.0. This one can actually rotate pretty much any direction. This is the Quirky Pivot Power 2.0. I paid about 24 bucks for this, but last time I checked it was over 40 bucks. So I might pay to shop around for this one. It also has a 4.7 star rating, all of them do. This one among about 900 reviews on Amazon. You see it fits chunky adapters and chargers, flexes the hug corners, slim design, no outlet left behind. The claims on this one is it has six adjustable pivoting power outlets, can bend to fit multiple oversized adapters, surge protection, 45 degree plug for hard to reach places. Its unique feature are the rotating outlets. Of those who liked it on Amazon, people said it was great for those with space concerns, People love how it bends and fits tight spaces and how it can handle multiple large adapters. Of those who didn't like it, some people said that it's still difficult to use large adapters while others said the light was actually too bright. Looks like pretty minimal instructions, not much to it. Whoa. We also have the Mount It, which is actually a clamped power strip surge protector. This is the Mount It. I paid $29.99 for this. On it. It's an Amazon's choice also. Also has a 4.7 star rating among about 225 reviews as of this date. This is actually two devices in one. This is a clamp and a power strip surge protector. No real instructions here, but on the back of the box, it does have some, some instructions. The claims for this one is that it's an all-in-one power strip with surge protection, it includes three AC outlets and three USB ports, built-in cord management. The unique feature is the clamp that can not only hold the included power strip, but any that'll fit in there. The pros on Amazon, the people who like it said they like how easy it is to mount along with the cord management feature. Among the cons, a few people said the mount wasn't tight enough, while others said they had defective units. And finally, it's the Echo Gear, which has these rotating heads. This is the Echo Gear. I paid about 16 bucks for this. It's currently an Amazon's choice with a 4.7 star rating among over 12,000 reviews on Amazon. I don't know about that. Some instructions here. The claims that it has six pivoting AC outlets, surge protection, a low one and a half inch profile, installs over existing outlets. Its unique feature are the six individually rotating AC outlet heads. On Amazon, the people who liked it said they love the swivel design and surge protection and low profile. They say it's easy to install, easy to access. Now, those who didn't like it so much, some said you couldn't plug it in at an angle. Some people said it sparked when plugging it in and others said it lacked a reset button. I thought this was a reset button. It doesn't seem to be one. It's not really a technical review as much as it is testing out the functionality, given that all these have one feature that's kind of their claim to fame. But if you are interested in the technical side, here's a graphic showing all the specs you might be interested in. Before I even plug these in, let me try a chunky adapter test and see how well it can hold multiple thick adapters. Let's just start off with the, uh, the swivel power and see how that does. Let's see, we can have, I think this might be a problem because it's, it's already hanging over a little bit. Oh yeah, it is not chunky adapter friendly, I don't think. Looks like we might be able to get one chunky adapter per side and that's, uh, that's pretty much it on this one. It's like the swivel power, three chunky adapters. The echo power is interesting because 
you can have it rotated this way or this way, but you really can't have it at a 45 degree angle. As you can see, it actually, it snaps into place at 45 degrees, but it's covered up. So you can go facing front, facing side, but not anywhere in between. But we might be able to stagger these, something, maybe it's something like this, where I can see if I can get all six in there. Ooh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be ugly. Can we do it? I'm almost doing it. Oh, this one's gonna be kind of tough. Maybe, maybe I can squeeze it in there. Oh, looks like I'm getting five. This is gonna be kind of tough. My sixth one. It's not quite fitting number six. Number six is pushing it this way, which makes it unusable. So, so it looks like the Echo Gear has five. Let's keep going. This isn't scientific. These are just six random chunky adapters I found. Your mileage may vary. This is only one test among many that could be done, but this is the test I chose. For the quirky power, I have a good feeling about the quirky power. Look how they're spaced out. Very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna have no problem with six on this one. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful sight. Look at that, beautiful. I would say clearly the quirky wins the chunky adapter test. That is a sentence I never thought I would say, but it works here. Now, clearly the mounted is not designed for holding numerous chunky adapters. It only holds three, but let's uh, put this on the edge of the table here. All right, it's clamped on the side of the table. And this is really the feature that makes this one shine. It's not the numerous adapters, it's having it right there on the edge of your desk and the edge of your workbench and you can get to it easily. But let's see how it handles the chunky adapters because they are spaced pretty well apart here. Let me grab, just grab three random adapters here. Can it do three in a row? And again, all, all adapters are different. So this is just one quick test. Uh, it's gonna be kind of tough and the center one's not wanting to go. It's not gonna do three chunky adapters in a row, but it will do two and probably a smaller plug on the inside. But this one also has cord management in the back. Look at this. Very nice, very handy, very easy. So you can run your wires through there, keep them out of the way. So that's one nice feature of this one that the others don't have. So even though it lacks as many outlets as the others, it does have a few features. The clamp and the cord management work quite well. I would say the quirky wins the chunky adapter test, but we have a long way to go. Let's go plug these in and see how it works in a real world situation. Let's first plug in the swivel power and see how it looks. All right, both lights are lit up. This is protected and grounded. That's a, that's a good thing. It's like almost two and a half inches from the wall. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, well, it does, it does kind of lock in place there. Kind of locks in place there. It's a little bit wobbly though. Yeah, a little wobbly. I plug a nice adapter in here, something big. Hmm, one thing I'm already seeing is that when I'm having an adapter right there, it's hitting the wall. So I guess you kind of need to stabilize it a little bit. Let me put a table in front of this. So I'm gonna plug in my phone. Oh, I actually have to rotate it the other way now. I guess you could technically rotate it back down once it's plugged in. Yeah, I could. You could do that. Got this lava lamp here. Let's plug that in. So far, so good. It just uh, it just seems very loose. About a regular lamp. I got four things plugged in here. Let's see how it rotates when it's got more stuff plugged into it. Well, I mean, it is staying. It's so loose though. But it is working. Everything's got power. I got plenty of outlets left. Probably no adapter in the center. No adapter on the bottom. This big one right here is kind of ruining it for everybody. It's almost coming out of the wall when I take this out of here, very loose. Eh. The swivel effect seems a bit gimmicky. It seems a bit loose. I'm not as impressed with this one as I wish I would have been, but we've got more to test out. Let's try them right now. Let's try the Echo Gear now. That one feels a little more solid, I think. That is less than two inches. It looks like one and three quarters inches away from the wall, so a little bit flatter profile. As you'll see after it's plugged in, it says protected and grounded, just like the uh, swivel power did, so that's good. Plug it in something bulky. You really can't rotate this after you plug it in. You have to kind of decide which way you want it to be plugged in. Also, this one does not have 
USB connectors like the soil power, which is a bit disappointing, I guess. One thing you can't do is plug it in and then rotate it. That doesn't, it doesn't work. And that's because when you get halfway through, it's, you can see it's, it's not going to go all the way around. So you have to choose which way you're going to have it pointed before you really plug it in. Let me try my uh, charger here once more. This big bulky thing is definitely going to take up some space. This, it's not 100% solid, but it's not as loose as the swivel power. Can I fit a big adapter on the side? Let's see. I can. I can fit an adapter on the side. All right, well. All right, I feel like the Echo Gear just did a little bit better job than Civil Power. Even though it's lacking USB ports, I kind of like that about the Civil Power, but it was so loose. You can tailor the Echo Gear a little bit better towards your configuration than you can the Civil Power. So I like that about it, even though it's lacking a USB port. It also has a slightly smaller profile than the Civil Power. Let's take a look at the Quirky Power, shall we? One thing I like about this is it. The plug has a 45 degree angle, so you can plug it in here. And you can still plug in something in the bottom here. Now there are, there's one indicator light that the power is on, but, and you can see it, it's weird, it's blue here, red there, but that's the only real indicator light. There's nothing as far as surge protection or grounding goes. There's also no USB ports, so it's uh, just AC outlets on that. But I do like the fact that you can kind of shape it however you'd like. It's very versatile in that respect. So let me pull a table over here and see what we can do. Let's try just a few things here. Battery charger, got a lamp right there. Very versatile. You can really go in any configuration you want. I kind of like it this, like this around the bottom of the table. That's kind of cool. You could straighten it out if you want. It's different. I like it. It seems like it's the least cramped of all of them. I kind of like this configuration. You may not. That's the beauty of it is you can pretty much put it whatever configuration you want. I wish it had the indicators for surge protection and for grounding. I wish it had USB ports, but overall, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Let's mount the mount it. Now this can go on, you need a ledge of uh, two inches or less, and I have one on this desk. It's good for, uh, it seems to be good for desks, maybe a workbench, as long as you have a, uh, a ledge to attach it to. You can also hook it on the side of a table if you have a, a leg that's kind of thin as well. There is an indicator light right here, but I could not figure out what this light's for. I didn't see any of the documentation, so I don't know if it's a grounding light or a surge light, so it's kind of useless if you don't know what it's for. But this is kind of handy because you can have your power right here with you. Um, let's say I want to charge my, my Ember mug here. And I can use my cord management in the back so it's kind of neatly tucked out of the way. But if the included strip is not good enough for you, you can actually take the strip out and just use a clamp. Of course, you're paying for the power strip too. But let's see. I wonder if you could use the Quirky in there. Surely not, right? There we go. You know, that Quirky actually worked there. I don't see why you would ever want to do that, but it's nice to know that you can if you wanted to. That seems to be about the, the extent of how thick you can go with this clamp. I had to dig this old double wide out. Uh, it doesn't seem like something like that would even fit in there. It's not going to be tall enough. I kind of like having this cord on the other side so it's not next to me. I think I might leave this, this right here because my Ember mug. That way I can kind of leave it plugged in. Overall, I do kind of like the idea of a mount for your power strip. My only issue is that if you're not interested in this power strip and you're paying for it so that you could just find a clip without the actual strip itself. Here's what I like and don't like about these. Uh, as far as a quirky goes, I like the long cord. I like the 45 degree flat plug. And this seems to be the most versatile of any of them. It really can fit in almost any location. And this is the only one that could handle six chunky adapters at one time. My main con is that there's no indicator lights and there's no USB plugs, but actually I kind of like this one. As far as the Echo Gear goes, this handles also a large number of chunky adapters. It has a nice flat profile, which I like quite a bit. This one is actually quite good for going behind a desk if you want to rotate those to the side. It would have been a nice feature if you could plug it in and then rotate it. You may recall the side socket from many years ago which you actually can plug in and rotate. That would have been a nice feature on this one, not to be. But I do think this is a great choice. As far as the mount it goes, I love the idea of having the power right there at your fingertips. I like that it has USB and AC outlets. I like the fact that it can hold other power strips if you decide this one isn't good enough for you. I don't like the lack of indicator lights. I don't like the fact that they don't tell you how many joules of protection you get for the surge protection. And if you don't like the power strip included, you basically bought yourself an overpriced clamp. 
As far as the swivel power goes, I like the indicator lights. I like the fact that they include USB ports. The swivel feature seems to be kind of a gimmick. I, it's also very wobbly when you do use that. It's nice to have the reset button on there as well, but to me, this is gonna be something that's kind of situational. I should also point out that most experts recommend replacing the surge protector every couple years because the surge protection does run out and when it does, it becomes nothing more than a glorified power strip. That's one of the reasons I prefer those that have the indicator lights because a good surge protector will actually tell you when it's time to replace it. But that's all I've got. If you've used any of these, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.